uh, a segment that I hope everybody will enjoy throughout the year, the Sienna Flashback, as we go back and look at a moment in Sienna basketball history. And we start off with the initial show of this year, uh, going back to January of 1981, in the Ark versus Cleveland State, a team that had defeated the, the Indians then, the year before, out in Cleveland, um, and had on their team two eventual first-round draft picks in the, in the pros, Franklin Edwards, who played for a while with the Philadelphia 76ers, and Darren Tillis, who was drafted by the Boston Celtics after graduating from Cleveland State. Um, a key ingredient for Sienna, you might recognize him if you watch Channel 45 and watch their games, uh, one of the color commentators, Kevin McGraw, who was a guard here in the early 80s, had a key role in this game, including the steal and a layup uh, at the end of overtime as Sienna beat Cleveland State 79-76. to We're going to talk to Kevin McGraw here and see, um, have him recall his role in this moment of Sienna history. Yeah, we were looking forward to the game. Cleveland State has o had always been one of our tougher teams on the schedule. Uh, they came in with a big reputation and some fine players. Um, Franklin Edwards and Darren Tillis uh, were projected first-round draft picks, and uh, I think it turned out that way also. So we were really looking forward to the game. I think our approach was uh, hopefully we could uh, contain Edwards so that he wouldn't go crazy, maybe give him his 20 or 25, but uh, really slow down the others. And then hopefully at the end of the ball game we'd be in a position to win it. And uh, really, that's how it worked out. Okay, so now the game goes into overtime. I guess you missed a shot at the buzzer, as you were telling me before. Now, the big steal in overtime. Tell us what went through your mind as you as uh, that steal opportunity approached. Well, certainly I did miss it, a wide open jump shot from the corner. I threw a brick up there that, that would have won the game in regulation. And uh, I was looking for another opportunity, and uh, certainly it uh, certainly it came. Uh, Cleveland State uh, it was a tie ball game. They were someone holding the ball in their delay game, and I noticed Edwards coming around the screen to take a, a handoff from Tillis, and uh, I got my hand in there and deflected the ball, and it was a foot race. Of course, I had a 20-yard head start <laughs> on Franklin Edwards and uh, went up and laid it in, and, uh, and that was just enough to win the ball game uh, at the buzzer. So uh, I just had a foot race against somebody a little bit quicker than you, but uh, one of the few you've won. In the years. Well, I'm not sure I won it. I had just enough to hold on. I, uh, like I said, I had a big head start. I was already facing that way and gone. And uh, Edwards tried to be covered. He caught up to me. But uh, by that time, the ball had been up and in. And uh, as I said before, just enough to win a nice, a nice game for us. And uh, certainly one that uh, we had played well in against a good quality team. That was Sienna former guard Kevin McGraw, now a color commentator on Channel 45 for the Saints home games. Uh, recalling his moment in Siena history uh, with the steal and layup to beat Cleveland State in 1981.